Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's learn where we can get some free animations and models and learn how to import them into Unity. Now I'm sure a lot of you already know about this website, but I'm also sure there's some people that don't know about it, so I figured I'd make a quick video. The website in question is called Mixamo. This is an awesome, completely free website with tons of characters and tons of animations. You've got a search bar and you can search from thousands of free animations. Same thing for the characters, all of them free and they are in pretty nice quality. And any of these characters can be used with any of these animations. Not to mention any other humanoid characters or humanoid animations. All of them are compatible with each other. Also, by the way, this video is not sponsored by Mixamo. It's just a great website that can be very useful to you while making your games. And like I said, this can also be very useful for combining with things you already have. For example, a while ago I made a video highlighting the free assets you could get from the asset store. The deal is over now, but you could get some packs that had tons of characters. Now, if you missed that video because YouTube didn't recommend it, then maybe go onto the website and set up your account to receive direct emails notifying you when there's a new video. That way, you won't miss out on these time-sensitive opportunities and you're not dependent on the YouTube algorithm choosing what videos you should watch. So anyways, there was that pack that you could get for free, and like I mentioned in the video, all of the Synthi assets come with a humanoid rig. Humanoid is just a type that Unity has which allows for animation retargeting, meaning that you can use a humanoid character combined with any humanoid animation. And as it turns out, Mixamo is full of humanoid animations as well as humanoid characters. So let's first look into how to import free animations and then we're going to see how to import a free character. So as an example, over here I have a character. Again, this one is from that city pack. The character is in a standard T pose, so just a basic mesh character. Now the first thing is to ensure that the mesh is set up as humanoid. So you select the mesh in the project files and over here on in the inspector, go onto the rig tab and over here under animation type, make sure you select humanoid. So just do that and hit on apply. So that's all you need to do as long as the mesh is rigged with a humanoid rig. If not, then over here you can also manually define the avatar or copy from another one or click on configure. So again, if you already set up your mesh as a humanoid rig, then all of these will be assigned automatically. So you can see all of the various joints that make up the humanoid rig. And once it is set up as humanoid, then it works with any humanoid animation. After that, you can just go into Mixamo.com and just log in or sign up with a free account. So here it is, and now up here you've got two buttons, one for animations and one for characters. Now right now we want the animation, so let's go into the animations tab. And then just go ahead and search for any of these animations. So as you can see, there's tons of them. All of these, and you got a search bar up here, you can search for anything you want. And there you go, lots of interesting animations. Okay, so just go ahead and pick any of these animations. Like I said, these are all humanoids, so any of these animations won't be compatible with our humanoid character. So just pick an animation, and then depending on the animation, over here on the right side you also have a bunch more parameters. So for this one, for example, there's a parameter for the hit intensity. So if I put it real low, then it just moves a tiny bit. If I put it really high, then it has a much more intense effect. So some of these animations have these parameters, so make sure you play around that. Okay, when you got the animation that you want, just go ahead, click on download. And then over here you've got the download settings. Now for the first one is the format, and for this one you can go with FBX for Unity. Then the next one is a skin, with or without the skin. So if you say yes, then this 3D model will be included in the download, and if you go without skin, then only the animation is included. So right now we just want the animation, so let's go with that. Then over here for the frames per second, so this is the number of keyframes. You can pick whatever you want, usually either 30 or 60. Either of those will look good, Unity then interpolates all of the values in between. And finally, for keyframe reduction, so this is if you want your animation file to be compressed. If you're making a mobile game, then this might be useful to play around to have the final game be really small, but for this demo and for PC games, pretty much just leave it on none. All right, so that's it, and click on download. Then just copy-paste the file inside the Unity Assets folder, and here it is. Now, even though I did not include the 3D model, so I did not include the skin, it still comes inside an FBX file, so there's an FBX, you can expand it, and over here you've got the reaction animation. So the next step is to select the main file. And over here, do the exact same thing as the mesh. So go onto the rec tab, change it from generic into humanoid. Just go ahead, hit on apply. And now this is set up as a humanoid. And if you wanted, you could just click and drag this reaction animation. As you can see, it already works like that. There's the animation. So you could just use this one directly in your animator. Or you can separate this from this file. So just select it and press on Control D in order to duplicate it. And the duplicated file is outside of the FBX. So there you go, and over here you've got a file just with the animation. And now we just need to apply this to our character. So first select the actual mesh object, then you add the animator component. And now over here is an extremely important step. 
which is for this to work, you need to assign the animator avatar. And very, very important is this avatar is the avatar for the mesh. So over here, I've got the mesh for this character and inside I've got the avatar. So it is this one that you use and not the one on the animation because over here on the animation that we downloaded, we can see that we also have an avatar. So it is not this one. You use the avatar for the mesh, not the animation. Okay, so just make sure you're using that one. And then let's just make a new animator controller. Just assign this one and then double click to open up the animator window and then just click and drag our animation on there. So there we go, it starts off on the start one, then we can go back into the scene view, select the characters, open up the animation window. So you can go into window, animation, open up the animation window. So that's this one. And over here, you can already preview the animation. So there you go, yep, that's the animation that we downloaded. And of course, just like with any animation, you can change lots of things. So for example, apply root motion or not, and you can go into the animation itself and for example, bake that into the pose. So just do all the usual things that you can do with any animation. All right, so here it is, our custom humanoid character playing a custom humanoid animation. All right, awesome. Okay, so these are the steps for downloading a custom animation and using it in Unity. Now let's see how we download an actual character. So for that, let's go back into Mixamo, then go into the Characters tab, and then over here, just go ahead and pick from any of these characters. So for example, this really strange boss character. Now this one is still playing the selected animation. If you want, you can go up here and click on the close. There you go, it just goes into the normal T-pose. Okay, so that's the characters. Once again, go into download and choose FBX for Unity for the pose. Yep, T-pose looks good. All right, so here I've got the character in Unity. However, if right away you just try to click and drag this one onto the scene, and nope, you do see the issue, and the issue is that it has no textures. So you've got the mesh, but no textures. Now, they are included in the file, but they need to be extracted. So just select the file. Then since we're here, we can already go ahead and make it as humanoid, okay? Then go into the materials tab. And over here, we've got two buttons to extract materials and the textures. So let's extract the materials. Then just pick a folder and select it. There you go, over here you see all of the various materials. Now we need the textures, so same thing. Just go up here, extract the textures. And up here we've got all the materials and all the textures. Now I just need to assign them, so all of these use the same texture. So just select them all, drag the diffuse onto the diffuse map, onto the base map. Then the normal, go into the normal map. Then also this one is not marked as normal, so just fix it. There you go, it already looks good. And finally this one has a specular map, so just go with that one like that. And yep, just like that, now it looks correct. So we've got our custom mesh, as well as the custom materials and textures. Now once again, it's the exact same thing for using this one with the same animations. So we already saved it as humanoid, so the mesh is marked as humanoid. And over here, again, on the animator, make sure you're using the avatar from this one. So there you go, the boss avatar, okay. And now you can use this with any animation. So for example, we don't even need the new animator controller, just use the exact same one. And just go into the animation, and there you go, now we've got our custom character playing our custom animation. So yep, there it is. As you can see, this website is super useful with tons of completely free characters and free animations. So the next time you start working on a prototype, go here and download a nice model with some nice animations to make your game look great. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.